Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Well, uh, earlier today, uh, sometime after I did my uh, pinball stream, um, just browsing YouTube, and uh, this one video came up. Um, it's basically, they talk about the music genre, Iceberg, explained. Uh, but, looked pretty, looked pretty interesting, but I didn't, wanna, I didn't want to sit there for almost three hours listening to some guy talking about all the music genres in the world out there, so... I thought what I'd go ahead and do is uh, do a little something different. Just uh, go ahead and uh, just do commentary on some of these. Uh, I just I basically just uh, just went on Google, uh, grabbed and grabbed the appropriate image and just kind of just you know basically set you know basically do my own video on it. Just doing my own uh, commentary vid. So, but uh, I did do a little bit of prep work on this. But uh, even then, there, I don't be surprised if I have to kind of, kind of put things on ice, go get a certain, uh, go get a, go get a certain image that I might want to post up or something. Like have to go on Google or I might have, I might have it on my images folder or something, you know. But because uh, for the most part, this whole video here is gonna be improvised, just like how I do my cast videos. Um, I do some prep work, but after that, I wing it. So, same thing here. But uh, anyway, I am going to have some music running in the background. Um, this time around, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be kind of a combination of Memphis rap, dungeon rap, and dungeon synth. Which, I, I kind of noticed, that's a pretty creative use of a title right there, because... If you look really close, Memphis Rap, Memphis Rap on the left, Dungeon Synth on the right. But if you combine the two, you get Dungeon Rap. But um, Dungeon Rap's a fairly new genre for me, and I kind of like I kind of like to think that uh, Dungeon Rap is gonna be in this uh, iceberg list somewhere. I don't know where though, but but it is a new genre for me. Uh, but even then. It's not really the kind of thing that I'd probably listen to for long periods of time, so don't be surprised if all of a sudden I decide I want to switch. Mu I want to switch music, and I, which chances are I might do that. I might do that as uh, as the video goes on. But um, hang on, I'm thinking a moment, because which kind of debatable, because uh, I still have to consider copyright as well. So I'm trying to keep these videos ad free. So what I'll and probably what I'll do, um, if I do feel like changing albums, I'll probably go on my um. I I call it the safe albums folder. Here, I'll, because I have because I currently have the folder up at the moment. Now you might see a you might see a wonky window or something really out of place. I'll try to stop it as quick as I as quick as I can though. Oh, there it is. But yeah, anyway. Anyway, I got a whole folder full of safe albums that I can use. So Anyway, let me go ahead and uh, get that music going. But, so let's get going on the list. Uh, but for those that don't know, um, an iceberg, it's I think it's something fairly new. But um, at the top here, as you can see, this is it, it's the tip of the iceberg so they say you know this is all the like in the upper right corner normie you got normie outsider awkward that guy then as you go deeper in you get more and more and more obscure so okay i'm gonna do a quick sound test here Down. 
honest, bitch. Okay. So. But like I said, it, uh, an iceberg is something that starts, you know, from like the most popular, trendy, and all that, and then it, it gradually goes down here into like the more obscure stuff beyond humanity. So. Okay, pop. Surprise, surprise. Rap. Rap, uh, rock, R&B, country. I mean, about as mainstream as you can get right up here. Uh, trap, future bass. I've heard the name. Um, I've probably heard it, but it probably just went in one ear and out the other. Um, hip hop, okay. I've always had a bone of contention with this. Hip hop is actually a lifestyle, not a music genre. Hip-hop and rap are the same. I can't remember how the exact lyrics went, but like, hip-hop is how I live, rap is how I sing, or something like that, or hip-hop is how I live, rap is what I do. So yeah, it, people seem to get this, get these two here all mixed up, but again, hip-hop is just the name of a lifestyle, not an actual music genre. That's rap. Mainstream EDM, not a fan of it. No, no, no. Let me rewind up here, and pretty much this top five here. I already, I basically have to hear it work every day. So yeah. No. No fan of this kind of music. And Psytrance, never heard of it. Or again, just like Trap and Future Bass, I I probably heard it, but it just went in one ear and out the other. And um, is there really a difference between techno and EDM? I thought they were the same. Electro Swing. I never heard of that. Punk, obviously. I mean, yeah. Uh, Parliament, Funkadelic. Oh, I'm uh, taking a drink some Arizona green tea. Hold on. And disco. Uh, I actually hear disco at work every day, too, so I'm not a fan. Uh, reggae. I've, I've probably heard reggae at work as well. Put up. I gotta check something here real quick. Okay, so you can you can't see my cursor. All right. So yeah, but reggae I'm kind of indifferent to. But like I said, I I think I've probably heard some of this at work every day, so that being said, not a big fan. Uh reggaeton. I never heard of that. Moombathon? Never heard of that. Classical hits. Could have just said classical. I mean I wonder if they mean uh classic rock. Like, do they mean popular classical, popular classical music? Okay, I, I just, I've never heard of it being called classical hits. I mean, hits is something you give to like pop, rap, rock, etc. not classical. I've never heard it called that before. Underrated EDM, I always thought that stuff was the same as techno. K-pop, J-pop, not a fan. Uh, video game soundtracks. Uh, uh, no, YouTube's still working. All right. It is. Long silent pause. I thought maybe uh, YouTube froze up. 
video game soundtracks. This could actually, um... Uh, I'm sure there's probably uh, other genres that are like this, but it's obscurity. It also depends on the game you're playing, too. Like, if you're playing Halo, then, yeah, the, that kind of video game music is going to be way up here. Now, if you're talking, like, really super obscure, unknown video games, yeah, that's all, I mean, that kind of music can be down here. Why? Because you've probably never even heard of the game before. So, this is gonna this is going to tie into the popularity of the video game. Um, house, deep house, the same thing. I always thought it was uh, just techno. But yeah, I've, I've always thought, again, I've always thought techno and EDM, they're, the words are used interchangeably because they're the same. Not according to this guy. So then we got good old metal. That's actually uh, one of my favorite genres. Alternative indie. Okay, I guess I probably hear it at work every day. So I'm probably that much in, not probably not that much into it. Classic. Uh, classical, classic rock. They kind of need to be specific on that. Um, then jazz, uh, my, uh, my all time favorite music genre right here, but just bear in mind, just like, uh, all the other genres out there. Um, I don't, I mean, I, I don't listen to jazz 24 seven or anything like that. Or, you know, I don't, you, you know, I don't, there's, there's probably some jazz, there's probably some jazz out there. That's got to make me go, there you go. There's probably going to be some uh, jazz music that I'm not into. So, I mean, but it's just like a lot of other, like a lot of, uh, a lot of other of my favorite kinds of music. There's stuff in there that I can't stand either, so. Um, lo-fi? Um. Oh, where was it? Where was it? I want to say rap as well. The, the style, the music style in and of itself, I actually like. The problem is, is uh, everybody fucking uses it. I'm surprised I don't hear lo-fi at mu I, I'm surprised I don't hear lo-fi at work. That's a big surprise there. I guess they probably figure out it's class, it's too much like music and it's going to bore everybody or something. Well, no, I'd rather, I'd much rather listen to lo-fi music than any of the shit here at the top. But aside from that, um, lots of content creators use uh, lo-fi music. Uh, back when I was playing Gems of War, I had this going a lot, so I was kind of burnt out at it. And mostly I was playing this because uh, my view the the viewers that were checking out my channel at the time, they were into lo-fi. So yeah, I had it on as a courtesy to them. But it ended, it ended up burning me out in the process. Uh, grunge. Yeah, like me some grunge. Um, Soundgarden. Um, to a probably to a way lesser extent, Pearl Jam. I want to say. Um, oh, what's the name of the band? I want to say Queens of the Stone Age would kind of fall into this category as well, at least to me. But yeah, grunge, good stuff. Uh, Nirvana. Um, if you didn't play the popular shit, like, uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit, I am fucking tired and sick of that freaking song. So, but aside from that, if you were to play, like, maybe, like, actual Nirvana albums and not best of shit, I could probably tolerate that. You know, maybe some obscure Nirvana music, I could probably handle that. Um, Chill Wave. It sounds like something that I've probably heard of before, but if I did, it probably would have just, it probably just went in one ear and out the other. Um, 
Nightcore. Never heard of that. Dubstep. I fucking cannot stand this music. But again, it's... Where's he at? Yeah, I'm beginning to notice this. There's lots of, uh, there's EDM, there's all these different types of techno, but I only see one kind of actual techno, though. I'm not even seeing, like, classic techno or anything like that. But yeah, dubstep. Um, during a period of time that I was checking out other streamers, watching other streamers, they played a lot of dubstep, so yeah. No love for this genre. Uh, drum and bass. Same thing. I've probably heard of this before, but if I did, it just went in one ear and out the other. Hard bass. Never heard of it. Uh, blues. Not a fan of blues. Too slow and dull for my taste. Bossa Nova. Uh, Thievery, Cor Thievery Corporation comes to mind. Okay. Um, all right. This music... This music is too distracting. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, I'm gonna go ahead and look for something else. Okay. Thinking at the moment. Still looking, still looking. Oh, come on, come on, Joe. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Because, because yeah, that, that dungeon wrap was too distracting. And again, you might see a wonky window come up. I'll try to stop it as quick as I can. Didn't work. All right, so it's one of the drawbacks of using OBS. It doesn't play nice with uh with the videos I have with the um actual videos I have on my hard drive. Yeah, see, it just. It just comes up as a black screen. So, what I'll have to do is uh, let me hunt for the thumbnail on the up uh, up my browser. Let's do this. So, hopefully I have this all set up properly. Hopefully. Okay, but what I'm going to go ahead and play now, this is going to be a lot more laid back, 
and it should be copyright free. I have played this before without any problems. Uh, unless they decided to fake jax me or something and copyright it like, like just went up, suddenly copyright it. So, but again, this is gonna be dark ambient music, which who knows, maybe it might be on this uh, iceberg list. So, so let me go ahead and get that going. And again, I might have to sound test this from time to time too. So, but anyway, um, getting back to what I was talking about, um, dubstep, can't stand it, drum and bass. If I've heard it, it probably went in one ear and out the other. Hard bass, never heard of it. Uh, blues, don't care for it. I don't downright hate it, but it's just something I don't get into. Bossa Nova, the band Thievery Corporation comes to mind. But yeah, that's that's some pretty good stuff. Euro dance, never heard of it. Trance. If it's anything like uh, techno or EDM or anything like that, I probably won't be into it. Um, synth wave, retro wave. Eh, that's some pretty good stuff. Okay, so we're a bit on the loud side. Let me turn it down a little bit. Uh, punk, emo, uh, punk. There's probably only a very small handful of albums I like, but the rest is, it, it just, I don't get into it all. Emo, no fan of that, so. Future Punk, again, never heard of it, but if I did, it, it probably just went in one ear and off the other, so, so. So now we're in the awkward category. Going a little bit. Now we're under the iceberg. Uh, Eurobeat, never heard of it. Vocaloid, never heard of it. Um, new Wave Synth Pop. Oh, I'm, again, I probably heard this kind of music, but again, it, it probably just went in one ear and out the other. Heavy metal, thrash metal. Um, Screamo, variations of metal. I, I guess in a word, I like it. Again, metal is one of my favorite genres of music. Vaporwave, Echo Jams, yes. Uh, Vaporwave, definitely in my top five favorite genres. I don't know exactly where, but it's definitely up there. Uh, Breakbeat. If you're talking like the old, old, old 70s rap, I'd probably be into it, but I, I never get, I never get around to listening to it. But uh, it was, it's basically rap music before rap music came into existence. Again, like, I think it first got its start back in the 70s. I think that's what breakbeat is. And then techno, here it is. In my mind. The only genre that matters, regular old techno. It's just using, you know, good old classic samples, classic music samples, movie samples, TV samples, what have you, um, putting those together, putting those together to a, a, to a mechanical beat. That's, this kind of techno I do get into, like the old stuff. Uh, big beat. I never heard of it. Hardcore. Um, some of the hardcore I get into, it's listenable. Um, Celtic. Um, Listen to a little bit of this over the years. Not too bad. Bardcore. Never heard of it. Medieval Tavern. I, I can get into this stuff. Yeah, that um I think uh, one of my playlists is uh tavern music from World of Warcraft and it's still listened to to this day. So yeah. Like me some of this. Uh Baroque. Uh Baroque is classical, so 
I couldn't, uh, and I, classical, I couldn't really tell it apart from uh, any of the other genres. It's all classical to me. So I, I, I couldn't tell, I couldn't tell what's Baroque and what isn't. Um, acid. Um, acid rock, acid jazz. Acid techno. This is one of those I kind of, kind of wish to get a little specific with. Ambient. Okay, well, you're listening to Dark Ambient. I don't know if it would, uh, if Dark, if this music here would fall into the, the actual ambient. I don't know, maybe there's a Dark Ambient towards the bottom or something. Take it another drink. Um, IDM, I never heard of that. Some dance music. Uh, Jungle. Uh, probably heard of it. Or I've probably heard some of this, but it probably went one ear and out the other. Uh, Goa Trance. Never heard of that. Back up. I'm uh, going a little deeper. Uh, now we're that guy. Artcore, never heard of it. New Age, um, definitely not a. Top, I don't, I don't think it's a top five in my favorite genres, but it's pretty up there. I mean, overall, I love me some New Age. Uh, Dark Wave. I think I probably heard some of this. It's kind of like Vaporwave, Synthwave, and all them. So I've probably heard me some of this. Uh, the very little, the very little I heard of, that's yeah, some pretty cool stuff. Uh, Vapor Trap. I mean, I, I love. I mean, I've said before, I love Vaporwave, but Trap, no thanks. They can keep that. Uh, shoegaze. I. Probably not a fan of this. I couldn't, I couldn't pinpoint any exact artist or anything. But shoegaze, for those that don't know, the name was coined by uh, by artists like who would, like who had lead singers that were too shy and introverted to look at the art to look at the audience when they're on stage. So they look at their shoes instead, that kind of thing. So yeah, I, definitely not my bag. Um, death metal. Well. Um, I'm one of those where all the metals pretty much run together. Death metal, heavy metal, thrash metal. Um, there was like other metal up here. So I guess kind of like jazz. As a whole, it's all good. Uh, Dejent. I uh, never heard of that. Black Midi. I probably never heard of this. It's not, I keep, I keep thinking Final Fantasy Dungeon music or something. I don't know. Chiptune! Love me some of this. So, good stuff right here. And, um, for the most part, kind of like jazz and some of my other favorites, it's all good. You can throw damn near any kind of chiptune on and I'll be happy. Same thing with, uh, same thing with jazz. Um, general same thing, kind of the same thing with techno. Um, let's see what else. But yeah, stuff, stuff like that. Um, Gabber, I never heard of that. Uh, math Rock, Math Core. Names on the tip of my tongue. They're the ones that have that, uh, uh the one that goes, dig. Every day, or no, dig every day, one more day, or something like that. Ding, 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 ding. The one that goes like that, I don't, I can't remember their names right now. Uh, Break Core. Uh, never heard of that one. Uh, part breakbeat, part hardcore. The only thing I can think of. Uh, Sibian. 
never heard of that. Hyper Pop. Uh, never heard of that. Um, Terracore? Was it, uh, was it the Insane Clown Posse kind of like this? I don't know, maybe the, maybe, uh, maybe their genre will be more towards the bottom. Okay, so now we're in degenerate territory. Oh, damn. It's like I almost spawned my damn, uh, this is almost my home right here. Industrial, uh, industrial metal, stuff like, uh, ministry. Ministry, yeah, that. My all time favorite metal band, or my all time favorite metal album here. Let me. Let me pull it up. working on it and you might see a big blue patch come up I'll try to stop it as quick as I can but yeah probably my all my all-time favorite metal album it's got to be ministry spill pick Back in the back in the nineties when that album first came out, I was listening to this album a ton. Like just over and over. So Shall we continue? Uh Speedcore. Never heard of that. Which else? There's a There was an album that I listened to. Um, oh, God, what's it called? I don't know the name of the album, but it was... Uh, no, it was... It was basically um, about, a witch, about a witch's house. Like, they had a, a witch on there and stuff like that. You know, they had a witch singing and all that. I don't know if, they're, if it's the same thing as this, though. I'll just move on. Um, EBM, Electronic Black Metal. Um... It's, it's definitely not a top five. It's not a top five favorite genre of mine, but it is up close. So. Uh, minimal dub, never heard of it. Micro house, never heard of it. Kraut rock, yes. And this is gonna be something else I'm gonna need to pull up. at the moment. Here, I'll... All right, let me... I mean, there it is. So let me go ahead and pull this up. This isn't the definitive crop Kraftwerk album, but it is my it is my favorite album from them. Kraftwerk's Ralph and Florium. This is uh Kraut Rock right here. But there's a bunch of others too. Uh Faust, Can, most of which I've never heard. Um So I guess I'll go ahead and pull up my favorite Kraut Rock album. Um, here we go. 
Neil, this is um, this is uh, one of my all-time favorite albums right here. It's that's another Kraut Rock album. rock oh big black that's that's one that's one that definitely comes to mind and black metal black metal this is definitely in my top five favorite uh, music genres right here um, but even even I'd be the first to tell you though a lot of it sounds the same so but also on the upside too just like jazz and some of the other aforementioned genre favorites, you could throw damn near any kind of black metal on and I'll like it. It's all good. Come on, take it another drink. So, um, DSPM. Dungeons, Dungeon Synth Black Metal? Maybe? If that's the case, then uh, this, is this is definitely in my top five. If not, then I'm going to have to work it in somewhere. It's two great tastes that taste great together right here. And I'm, I'd like to think Dungeon Synth is in here somewhere, and you know, as well as Black Metal. Thinking maybe towards the bottom. So, Viking metal. Um, I prob, I probably heard some of this, but I, I can't think of any uh, any songs or artists or anything. Pirate metal. Never heard of that. Never heard of that kind of metal. Grindcore. If they mean a uh, cannibal corpse, I think, yeah, I'm down with this. Uh, drone, I probably heard some drone, but it's probably something I don't get. I wouldn't get into. Basically, it went in one ear and out the other. Mall soft. Actually, I like me. I actually kind of liked some of this. It just, it's basically Muzak is what it is. Just the kind of kind of music you hear in shopping malls, uh, Psycho Billy. Just um, Hillbilly and Psycho. I don't. I basically I've never heard of a uh, never heard of this genre. Um, horrorcore or Memphis rap. Um, uh, you guys actually heard a little bit of this earlier. Memphis rap. Um, uh, was actually it's actually dungeon rap. Horrorcore. Oh, yesterday. Actually, let me up. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. I did listen to a little bit of this yesterday. Uh, but it isn't. But yeah, I listened to a little bit of it. Um, despite the image saying otherwise. Oh shit, I can't use that one. Yeah, I'm, I heard one of their albums. Uh, Vance called Violent Shit. It's basically, um, I want to say murder rap. 
like he's rapping about murdering people and stuff like that. And I'm mean, we're not talking, and I'm not talking like the gangster type crap, you know, running around with an AK-47 and you know, or all oh, the life of a gangster killer being killed, you know, and just, you know, I'm from the streets, motherfucker, that kind of thing. Not that kind, not that kind of murder, like, or, you know, like, like serial killer type, type rap. Like I, you know, I love murdering people and gutting them like fish, you know, that kind of stuff. So. But I'm guessing, I'm guessing that's what, uh, that's what horrorcore is. Either horrorcore and or terrorcore, one of those two. But yeah, I listened to a little bit of one of, uh, Violent Shit's albums yesterday. Man, it's okay. I've definitely heard worse, but I've listened to a lot better. So. And then we got Dark Ambient. You're listening to what right now? So, definitely some good stuff right here. And then Nintendo Core. I mean, I like me some chip tune, but I don't. And uh, I'd love to pull some up just to hear what it sounds like, but I don't. Again, I don't want to run the risk of getting my uh, video copyright claimed. So. So now we're an irredeemable, <laughs> hard vapor. Never heard of that. Broken transmission, signal wave. So I, I wouldn't even. I'm not even sure I'd call this music. I mean, if if all it is, is just it's just a signal. Beep. You know, like emergency broadcast system or something. If that's all this is, then I what do you call that music? Um, experimental. Uh, I guess. Well, I mean, I've, and you know, on one end, all music, except maybe like pop music or something like that, is experimental. You don't know how it's gonna turn out. You don't know who's gonna like it, who's gonna hate it. You know, you're not going to know the result, the actual fully realized results until you actually make the music. So, experimental is almost a redundant term. Um, Black Gaze? Never heard of that one. Heard of this one, though. Avant-Garde. Yep, it's the music of my all-time favorite band, The Residents. So, although... I'd also be the first to admit, though, Avant Guard is very hit or miss. But again, I'm, I mean, again, The Resonance is my all time favorite band, but even then, there are some things they play, it's just, oh my god, no thank you. So. But yeah, generally as a whole, I love me some Avant Guard. I wouldn't say it's in my top five, though. Believe it or not. But it it's pretty up... Probably in my top ten. So, um, Plunder Phonics. Never heard of that one. Sound Collage. Frank Zappa does a lot of these. Now, as a... As a genre in itself... I probably want to get into it because I like my music to have some kind of rhythm. So, and sound collage is just basically a whole clusterfuck of sounds, as as is obvious. But like I said, Frank Zappa does a lot of this stuff. So, oscilloscopic music. I never heard of that. Um, sorting algorithms unironically. And I think we're also going to be getting to a point where it's like, you know, it, it, it's like these, these genres were coined by bands that were trying to be different from everyone else. You know, it's like, it's like the band's name is the French Fried Potatoes, but they wanted to, they wanted to make, you know, they wanted to create their own style, so they just came up with a word 
sorting algorithms, but really, but in actuality, their music, music is probably mainstream techno. So, and let's scroll a little bit. Uh, splatter core, extra tone. Oh, sp splitter core, splitter core. Never heard of that one. Uh, crunk core, never heard of that. Ethereal wave. This sounds like something that I've probably heard before. Portal Grind, uh, never heard of that one. I'm thinking it's gonna be something like, something like Grind, or something like Grindcore, instead of it being about blood and guts and all that, it's just gonna be about porn stuff. Maybe, maybe uh, a variation on Horrorcore, where it's about uh, basically murder rap. It's just rape rap, I guess. Early electronic, um, the, if you ever heard the, um, that, the old popcorn, popcorn song that, you know, that kind of thing, um, I think that's early electronic, um, the residents, the avant-garde band, they were doing, uh, early electronic stuff back in the 60s. So yeah, I can I can go for some early electronic, um, noise. Man, I've heard the term you heard. I've heard the term used, as far as like pure noise. I probably I probably heard it, but I couldn't pick out any bands or anything. So, but anyway, moving on down. Uh, Death Industrial. Never heard of that, but again, it. I think we're starting to. I think we're starting to get to where. All these uh, genres now are just names being pulled out of people's asses. They're just trying to, you know, trying to make themselves stand out amongst all the other genres out there. You know. Billy Bob Jones and the Rednecks. They don't want to be known as just another country band, so. They gotta call themselves Psycho Billy or something, you know, or they gotta come up with some real goopy name. So yeah, Death Industrial LSD Dream Emulator OSD. Never heard of that. Catholic Psychedelics. <laughs> God. Man, these are some ass poles. Cyber grind. Never heard of that. Noise core. Math grind. Here, maybe I should get a band together and let's call let's um let's call our music um We'll call it Disco Reggae Classical. There we go. Or here, how about let's call our let's Let's say our let's say our band plays Vocaloid jazz video game soundtracks. Yeah. We'll stand out. Not too far down. And white brown noise? I don't know what the difference is there. Harsh noise, Japanese noise, lowercase? I've never heard of that one. Like I said, it's like these guys are just... There's just genre names made up on the fly. Lowercase is probably a genre that was coined by one single band that uses that genre name. Uh, Harsh Noise. Never heard of that. Hypertone. Never heard of that. Zule. Squee. Never heard of that one. Prehistoric Primitive Sounds. Um... Sorta, of, kinda. There's a there's a subgenre of dungeon synth called Dino synth. Um, I wish I knew the name of the album. But yeah, that based on that album, yeah, that's some good stuff. And speaking of that, 
Did I, uh, did I go right by Dungeon Synth? I ain't seeing it. I figured I would have seen Dungeon Synth by now. Unless it's like way at the bottom. I wouldn't think so considering all the uh, all the out near all the out there names that I'm seeing right now. Gore grind, sludge core, noise grind, power electronics, music, concrete, spectralism, no wave. I've heard of this. Uh back in the eighties, I believe um Sonic Youth. Yeah, Sonic Youth was one of these. Vapor noise. First sounds ever recorded. Um, no. Hey, you. Good luck finding this. Death Dream. Deep internet music, ambient, harsh noise wall. Field. No. Um. Oh, field recordings. Oh, God, I wish I knew his name. The Viking of 32nd Street or something like that. Here, I'll, I'll have to type that down. But yeah, I've got to know the name of that. But I'm, I'm not good with names right now. Oh, but he would, he's a blind musician, but uh, he would dress up as a Viking and uh, he would he would just stand there on a street corner. But like I said, I'm not, I'm not good with names at the moment. He, uh, he built his own instrument that resembles a birdhouse. But uh, he was also known for uh, he was also known for recording like street street sounds and stuff like that. Right, let me let me type this down. Type me down a song lyric, but I've got to know who it is. Moon dog. Yeah. Um. Here. Okay, I'm going here. You know, I should all. I almost should have just uh, streamed this. Oh, 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 big blue patch. There it goes. I got it. I got it. Hopefully this works. Okay, yeah. Moondog. The Viking of 6th Avenue. Um, But yeah, he, he built his own instrument that he uses. And he... Um, and yeah, he used... He used to hang out on a, on the 6th Avenue street corner. So I guess that would, uh, that can be classified as field recordings. And then Anki Yoki. I never heard of that one. And so now we're beyond humanity. The back gore noise, lost music, obscure website music. Cosmo noise, space sounds. I've um, I've used space sounds in some of my cast videos, um, uh, planet sounds and stuff like that, planets and moons. I used to, um, 
I used to use those songs in my uh, some of my cast videos. So this does exist. I'm sure Cosmo Noise does too. But Sludge Noise, Z, Zen Harmonism, Sonorism, Treated Static, Rap MP3, Danger Music, Dick Higgins. Never heard of that one. Music genres I don't know yet. Well, apparently you don't know uh, Dungeon Synth. You are the music genre. That's almost like the moral of the story here. Music. Well, I mean, apparently he doesn't know Dungeon Synth. Um, and, and also, there's um. Let me go ahead and type this one down. There is also another genre that he doesn't know about. done. Yeah, comfy scent. But that's, uh, that's another type of dungeon scent. It's just mainly, uh, it's, I think it's mainly like kid-friendly music. But yeah, this is something I'll listen to once in a while, too. And it's pretty surprising that he doesn't have dungeon scent in here anywhere. I mean, unless it's uh, DSBM, but you know, really, he should have uh, done what he did with the horrorcore of Memphis rap, type it all out, and then put a slash between it. But yeah, I don't see any uh, dungeon synth in here anywhere. If I had a guess, I'd, uh, yeah, I'd have probably put it, uh, here in Degenerate or Irredeemable. But yeah, um, probably, uh, hang on just a second. I mean, probably the definitive uh, Dungeon Synth album. Not... It, it was his uh, Depressive Silence, their second one. It's not their... It's not the very, very first uh, Dungeon Synth album that came out here. I'll have to... Done it already, so let me go ahead and... Showing me what I'm looking for. Here, so I'll have to do this. God, I should all I almost should have streamed this. Oh, shit, where is it? There it is. Yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, um, the first, the first dungeon synth ever made was, um, a guy named Mortis. Or Mortis, I don't know how exactly how it's pronounced, but uh, he was the first one. Like it came out in like the early '90s or something. But to me, it wasn't a. It wasn't the, or in my mind, it wasn't their best. 
Um, I think Depressive Silence, their second album, was probably, um, I think it's probably the one that er is probably everybody else's favorite. Um, my personal favorite, though, is uh, called Bacchia Narita, I think. It's a uh, Greek, Greek dungeon synth. It's their uh, Dionysus album. But yeah, once again, I'm surprised that he doesn't have dungeon synth in here. Otherwise, um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it good. Just uh, yeah. I, as I've been um, as as I've been at it here for over an hour, um, wasn't expecting to go on this long, but oh well, it happens. So, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and um, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.